past life reading and in this reading we're going to look at um, who you may have been in a past life, your purpose, your lessons and how that may be following through into your present incarnation. So I've got six positions here Virgo um, to explore and go deeper into that message. I will be clarifying with the Star Child Tarot as I go. I have a couple of Yogic Path Oracle cards here and a lead Tarot Energy. So let's just jump in and piece this together and see how it comes out. The, the first oracle is Pitta, and that is the fiery Ayurvedic dosha. So it's really about, you know, un Virgo, welcome to your past life reading and in this reading Virgo we are going to look at who you may have been in a past life, your purpose, your lessons and how that may be following and flowing through into your present incarnation. So I have six cards here uh, to explore that more deeply. I will be clarifying from the right away as I go. Um, I have a couple of Yogic Path Oracle cards and a Lead Tarot Energy. Before I jump in Virgo, just to let you know, if you do want to arrange a personal reading or, or healing, you will find the information and link to my website below this video. You'll also find the link to the initiation, which is my immersive learn tarot journey. Um, you can uh, join at any time, doors are always open, and uh, you can get immediate access if you sign up. You will also get access to me and um, I will be teaching you the art of intuitive tarot through a rich multimedia experience and also access to me through my um, private community. So that's all down below, but let's jump into the reading. So I'm going to start with the oracles, guys, and just piece this together. The first one out was Pitta. And that is a card of Ayurveda, okay? And it's about the fiery dosha. Uh, it's page 33 in the book, which is a master energy here as well. And this is about um, being powerful, strong-willed, and, and feisty. So I'm really feeling, especially with the Ace of Wands at the end of the reading, that this is more in present life. You're really here to to really um, take dynamic action in your life. It's about moving ahead and it's about getting on purpose, okay? And you'll be using a lot of those those lessons and imprints from the past life to do that. There can also be lessons around when our fire energy moves across to being, you know, too dynamic, anger and that kind of thing. It's about staying in that balance. I also have Atman and that is about realizing your infinite spiritual nature, Virgo. So, in, in this life, what I'm feeling as part of your lesson is to realize that you are, you know, a spiritual being having an earthly experience. And I mean, you're watching tarot videos, so you obviously have some kind of um, willingness to be open to that message. But you might be stepping into that even more in this lifetime. The Ace of Wands is also a card of spirituality. So the Wheel of Fortune is your lead tarot energy and this is a huge card of karma. It may mean that you are at the stage now where you have a, a last huge karmic lesson to learn before you kind of take the next level in your ascension. It can also be about a lucky break or a change of luck or something like that. It says that there is an element of destiny and divine timing very much maybe now at this stage in your in your life. So it is a beautiful energy. It is a lucky energy. So maybe you're here to have a lucky life. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> okay, let's jump into the tarot positions. I'm going to start with the star. And this is the energy of who you potentially were in a past life. I've got a couple of things coming through here. The first one is that you could have actually been some kind of, of, of star, celebrity, or you might have had some kind of unique talent that you were operating with. And for some of you, this was a unique healing talent, okay? The star is associated with healing, with emotional healing, with energy healing, um, the kind of shaman energy. But for some of you, there's also that um, becoming well-known. Maybe you became well-known for that that healing energy okay let's get the clarifier for that one it really is somebody who was living the life that they were guided to to live 
and maybe impacting the the guidance of others and you may have a strong pull towards all things you know natural world um, spiritual you know doing the work self-development in this lifetime because you have had a lifetime in the past as a healer and I've got the tower here and that would fit because so many people that have gone on the healing journey have had really big chaotic moments of trauma or experiences in their lives that have put them on that path so you could have had a huge tower moment could have been a health crisis it could have been you know a lot of instability in your life and then you have been put on this path of how can I build the greatest security and stability in myself so that I can navigate life better so I feel like you might and and that was your I'm feeling a big part of your purpose because the universe conspired that for you to get you on this path here so big healer energy and becoming well known being really in the spotlight for this so you could have been someone that pe people actually traveled to to see in that way to help them change their luck as well we the fortune so life purpose king of pentacles now well, that's interesting that you've come from the tower, you you took on this life of healer and that kind of thing, and then you have king of Pen pentacles in your life purpose, because the king of pentacles is somebody who has built uh, a really secure sanctuary for themselves and has moved into deep trust and commitment of working with the universe to create that. And, and through that um, through that journey, I feel like you also built quite a lot of success and abundance for yourself. So it was kind of like you went through this journey of being taken completely out of all stability, the tower falling, and then this rebuild. But that was your life purpose to understand you know, how to do that on your own and how to create that for yourself. Six of Swords, yeah, and I felt like that was a really, a really big journey for you to to take on. Um, the Six of Swords is, you know, it, I see the two sets of Three of Swords here. It could have been that you had two major heartbreaks in your life. It could have even been the death of family members or the death of your parents or something like that, and that um, put you on on this journey of finding the stability. But, you know, part of your life purpose was stepping into the unknown, into a completely different direction in order to make that happen. So there was a lot of surrendering, a lot of letting go. And as I just mentioned, that having that that trust in, that in the universe as well as you went about that. So that's what I'm sensing there, guys. Now, your biggest life lesson, what you learned, two of wands. Well... You know, this is a big energy of, of potential and um, really broadening your horizons. I think what you learn after that tower moment and coming onto this journey is that you had this great potential within you that you wouldn't have found if you hadn't have gone through that. I mean, that happens to so many people. It's like they have a really terrible experience, but it's not until later with hindsight and, and vision that they realize that it was leading them somewhere. The tower normally leads us somewhere should we embrace it. I've got the hanged man. Yeah, so the hanged man was about you changing your perspective, seeing things in different ways, seeing trauma as an opportunity and something that actually um, had you unlock a deeper sense of, of perspective within yourself. Um, I also feel like part of this that, that you did travel a lot with this as well. I said other people traveling to you, but with two of wands, the fool, and the six of swords, I feel like, you know, you had to build a sense of security within yourself because there was some moving around as well, is what I'm feeling. Um, but the hanged man or perspective is also this big energy of acceptance. And accept it's actually, this is number 12 in the Major Arcana and death is number 13. So you might have had to accept some really big lessons around death or the passing, three of swords, three of swords of two important people in your life. And, you know, accept that that has happened and that it had actually um, led you on this journey that led you to your life purpose. Okay, so interesting message there but I feel like that is your life lesson and you know it really has taken you beyond your comfort zone in that life so what do you need to leave behind the hierophant okay 
So the Hierophant can be leaving behind um, tradition and doing things in a traditional sense. So it's interesting because you have the fool in your energy in this life. So I feel that in that you are leaving behind the traditional path and traditional way of doing things. Um, you are being inspired to do things completely in alignment with your rebel heart in this life, Virgo. You might be um, leaving behind, you know, working in a tr traditional way, having relationships in a traditional way, or, you know, moving more from, you know, religion to spirituality or something like that. I have got the Page of Swords here as well, which is interesting because this is an energy for me of of changing course and the winds of change. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I really feel that there is going to be big changes for you in this life as well. And maybe it's interesting with the Hierophant because I always talk about that kind of midlife crisis energy, which can happen at any, any time of your life. What it really is is an awakening to your truth and who you are and then really being compelled to step onto a whole new journey so in your past life I feel like that happened through a town moment but I feel like in this life it's happening through some kind of awakening some kind of awakening but it is imprinting back to that past life and through this awakening you are realizing that you've incarnated in this present life to operate as the fool somebody who is who is shaking off tradition and the way things should be done to live in alignment with their truth and their rebel heart, no matter what the judgment is, no matter how that's perceived by others. The fool is about but being guided again by the sun energy and following your instincts and your intuition. And also, you know, realizing that sometimes we don't have things all lined up before we take leaps as well. This is a little bit about... It's, you know, again, trusting the universe and stepping, not being afraid to step onto, onto a new path in your life. It's an Aries energy. So it's about bold moves and it links to that fire energy. It's like not being afraid to take dynamic action in your life. Two of Wands, yeah. Not being afraid to take dynamic action towards a new future you know, in a new direction, which is the direction of the Ace of Wands, which is in your final position, which is message from your past life self. And this message is you have so much more potential than what you realize. You know, you are spiritual. You have this energy within you. It's time to get on purpose and align with it. It could have something to do with your spirituality. There is some kind of huge new beginning for you, and it could be timely for when you're watching this video the magician yeah you are awakening to your true power your true potential which is absolutely infinite you have an awakening to the fact that you are an infinite being um the magician is of course links to to alchemy and um the arts of transformation so you might be here in this life is to have a purpose of helping other people transform, helping other people awaken to, to their full power, their full potential and their spiritual nature as well. So beautiful reading there, Virgo. Oh, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with, with you. Drop me a comment if you're cool to share, because I do love interacting with you all over there and getting to know you. Um, hit the subscribe button so you'll know when I upload new videos, guys. It's also a great way to, to support the channel and keep these readings coming as is liking and sharing the video. Um, I will uh, see you back here for plenty more readings very soon. Do take care. Bye for now.